What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do electrical installations in Revit. So this will be a tutorial where I show you how to link up a architectural project in an electrical template environment. Then we're going to be adding a panel box or a panel board to connect everything together. Then we're going to be adding some outlets and also some lighting and also a switch to turn those lights on and then we're going to be kind of connecting everything together with a circuit and then some wiring as well but before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media I post there as well and if you want to get this project file that I'm going to be creating in this tutorial uh, make sure to support me on patreon first link in the description but anyway let's get started so here I am in Revit and if I move Revit out of the way for a second you can see here I've got some files so this this is actually an auto repair shop project that they've de that they've done a while back just to use for some MEP installations so now I'm just going to be doing using it for an electrical uh, installation now if we go here and want to start a new project usually I go with an architectural template but now this being an electrical project I'm going to be using an electrical template but if you search over here we only have a construction uh, a architectural a structural and a mechanical template no electrical so what do you do then well we just need to go here to new and then you get to this new project dialog and here you can choose again from from templates but you can only choose these four again so how do you find the electrical well you need to go to the browse button and then here you've got some uh, US metric uh, templates or if you're using Imperial you should probably go to templates and then use Imperial ones but anyway I'm just going to be using the metric ones so let's see here I've got this electrical default metric so that's the one that I'm going to be using so just select that one and open it up and you just hit OK and now you're going to be opening up Revit with that particular template. Now the reason for this template is to kind of make it easier on you when uh, working with this project because it's going to give you some uh, some options that uh, or some presets that uh, Revit architectural or just generic template doesn't give you. And as you can see now here in the project browser you can see it's uh, it's a bit different than in your architectural template so you can see you have your kind of electrical and then you've got your lighting you've got your power and so it's kind of separate like that so you're going to be getting some of these kind of options that are only for working with electrical equipment but anyway so now we need a project so that the one that I've shown you we're just going to be linking it, linking it in and for that go to insert and go to link Revit you select that you go to desktop or wherever you have your file you just hit open and now it's here and as you can see it's kinda uh, it's got this kind of a gray uh, view because it's a linked file so you can kinda differentiate it from the stuff that you've got uh, in your Revit file so the first thing uh, we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding some outlets so first of all let's find where they are so if you go here to systems tab you've got some devices and here you've got this electrical fixtures so we need to find this uh, duplex receptacle so that's the one that I'm going to be using for this project and as you can see here we've got only two for now but let's use the standard one and if you go to place it you can't place it on the floor as you can see because it's a wall based element and as you can see here it says place on a vertical face so it can only be placed on a wall and here is the elevation or the distance from the ground where you want to have it so the default setting is 460 millimeters and that's what I'm going to be using but it, I think it's a bit confusing to be using millimeters for this so let's switch to centimeters so just hit escape uh, a couple of times and then go to UN or units so just type in UN and here for the length options let's change them from millimeters to centimeters hit OK OK again OK so now go back to device electrical fixture and let's just start placing them so let's maybe do one there one here one here one I don't know maybe one here and a couple of here in the middle between these 
doors. But anyway, so we have these uh, kind of a, a receptacles units, and let's just hit escape. Okay, so now once we have these in place, let's find a panel board and place it somewhere. So for panel board, you need to go here to electrical equipment, or EE is the shortcut, so I can just use the shortcut, EE. And, and now, as you can see, we've got some options over here, but let's say we want to load a different one in, a different panel. So let's go to load family, and you're here, automatically you get US Imperial, but let's drop back a folder, go into US metric, and let's search for electrical, MEP, electrical power, distribution, and here we've got some of these lighting and appliance uh, panel boards, and let's choose the uh, the 208 uh, surface version and let's select open and now you can place it on a vertical face so let's just place it on this wall over here now of course you don't have to have one for each room uh, usually I think they can work for uh, like the whole floor uh, but uh, for this simple project it's a simple building so let's just place it over here uh, but anyway, so once you have this in, now we can select this and let's just name it. So go to the properties panel, scroll down a bit, and for general, for panel name, let's just call it panel 1. And just hit apply. So now it's named and it will be easier to set it up uh, later on when we kind of connect everything together in a circuit. Now let's create a space for this whole thing. So go to your Analyze tab and you find this Space option. So you select it and now as you can see you can't really place it. It isn't recognizing this room. And what's the problem with that? So if I hit Escape and select the linked architecture file and I can go here into Edit Type and here as you can see under Constraints we've got this Room Bounding option and if I check that Room Bounding option and hit Apply and OK now if I go to Space as you can see now it's recognizing the room so that's the important part so we wanted to recognize this uh, room and uh, once we have that let's just select that space and go and see let's perhaps rename it so let's call it Workspace this is some sort of a auto repair shop and this is kind of where these are the doors where the cars come in and this is kind of the main working area and if I go into 3D this is what this project looks like but anyway let's go back into into a floor plan so now once we have uh, this space in place space in place <laughs> okay that rhymes anyway let's select one of these receptacles and let's create a circuit how do you do that well you need to go here to the power option or the power button on the modify tab so you hit that and as you can see now uh, we have the option of selecting a panel so basically you need to connect this to the panel we already al already placed over here and you just open this drop menu up and you find the panel that we have over here and now we can go here into edit circuit and now we can add uh, some more of these receptacles so let's just go all the way around uh, attaching all of them and here you can kind of remove them here you can add them by using this option but anyway let's just hit finish circuit and now this is all connected in a circuit now I can select this uh, this panel and I can go here to create panel schedules and let's use the default template for this one of course you're probably going to have the firm that you're working for or you're going to be creating some of your own templates but for now let's just use the uh, the default template and as you can see now here as you can see we have the, the room or the, the space workspace and here we've got the types and everything else is in this schedule already calculated so that's the point of Revit you can calculate everything immediately but anyway so let's continue on let's light this room up and for that we need to go to the ceiling plan and let's use this one so this is the the ceiling plan we have and as you can see we can't see our ceiling so that's a problem and why why can't we see the ceiling well if I scroll down a bit and let's go to south elevation as you can see here we've got this level 2 and it's lower than uh, the level that's attached to our uh, architecture file so the only thing I need to do is I need to select this and kinda move it up and attach it to this as you can see now it's attached and 
and now once these are uh, these two levels are aligned and I go back into let's see where is the ceiling plan okay if I go here now you can see the ceiling plan so you just need to make sure that all of the levels from the architectural project are overlapping with the levels in the electrical project but anyway so we've got our ceiling over here and let's add some lighting fixtures so for that let's go to our systems tab and let's find lighting fixtures okay here we go and this is a 600 by 600 millimeter grid so I'm just going to be searching for something like this so let's choose uh, this 6 by 600 by 600 and as you can see we can't place it why well because it says place on vertical face but if we just choose place on face and we can go in and kind of place it and let's just use the grid lines to uh, make it easier for us to place all of these so let's place kind of six lights. I think that will work enough for this auto repair shop. But anyway, so we've got these uh, six uh, lights. And for them, we also need to add a switch. You need to turn on the lights. And to add a switch, you go here to the device and you find a uh, lighting device. And here you've got switches. So I'm just going to search for a door switch and let's place it here well next to the door and as you can see now the switch uh, appears as this kind of DR uh, symbol and if you want to see it as a kind of the real rivet geometry switch you need to uh, change the uh, the level of the, the detail level you need to change it to fine and now as you can see it's uh, it's over here but if you want to see it a bit easier you just set it to medium or coarse and then it will be just a kind of a symbol but anyway, once we have a switch, we need to kind of connect all of these lights to our panel board. Now, how do you do that? Well, uh, you need to select one of these and it's uh, kind of simple. It's uh, the same way we did all of those receptacles. So you just go to power. And now if I want to attach it to a panel, I can't. I can't find my panel one. And if I go here to edit circuit and go select panel and select this one, we get this warning and the reason for this is I did this on purpose because when I was testing this out I had the same problem so I had to figure it out and I wanted to just show you if you find yourself in this situation so the reason this doesn't work is because uh, this panel that we have over here is 208 watts and the light we have is 270 so that's the reason why so let's cancel this circuit let's select uh, all of the lights or we can maybe go back okay so now let's select all of the lights so just hold the control select all of the lights open up this drop menu and let's choose 600 by 600 120 and once we have this 120 and now if we go over here power and as you can see immediately it, uh, it it's connected with our panel one and now just go into edit circuit and we need to add all of the other elements or lights to be exact and let's add our switch and we can't see it let's go to medium okay we can't let's let's add it like this and then we'll change okay just go finish and now let's change to medium okay so now everything is connected to this circuit over here and we also want to connect it to a switch and to do that we need to go over here and select this one and now go switch circuit select that and now you can go edit switch system and now you add to system so you just need to again go over all of the elements that you're using and just hit finish or, or select switch you select your little switch and you hit finish editing system now this is all connected to a switch now let's go back to our uh, table so let's see panel schedules let's open this up and now as you can see here we've got these uh, lighting uh, this lighting added to our uh, to our schedule so that's important so let's go back into the maybe lighting floor plan and as you can see now here uh, we can see both the lights and these receptacles and if you want to do the wire the wiring only for these and you don't want to see the lights uh, it's easy enough to turn them on so you just type in VG for visibility graphics and you go over here to uh, 
well for model categories and you just search down it's showing all categories that's important so you search down for to find light and for the lighting devices as well as lighting fixtures make sure to turn them off then hit apply okay and now as you can see they're in, or as you can see they're gone but anyway now we can do just the wiring for these and this is very simple so you just hover over one of these lights you hit the tab key and this thing appears so it's like a spider web and now here you can choose do you want it to be kind of the, this direct way or this kind of arc, arc way so I prefer this one it looks a bit cooler and you can just kind of change this make it kind of go all the way to the uh, to your panel board but anyway that's how you kind of finish off your wiring plan okay but anyway I think that's enough for this kind of a beginner uh, uh, Revit electrical project and if I made any electrical mistakes uh, please correct me in the comment section below because I'm just an architect I don't really know much about electric installations but I just show you some of the basic ways or options that Revit allows you to to use to kind of create these electrical circuits but anyway that's it for this tutorial if you want to get this project file first link in the description description uh, to my patreon page and please of course subscribe like and share this video to your friends if some of them want to learn about these electrical connections and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>